Hey Simleys, it's Delicacy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood Part 11 and oh, look at these two munchkins playing a little bit of horseshoe. How sweet, how sweet. Uh, it's been about five days since I posted the last part. Um, so let's just refresh our memory. We were working on Clarice's little relationship with Oliver over here and they look kind of cute. They've gone away on a family camping trip. Um, with both Bailey and Elliot, uh, which has been fun, and What's of course, on? Grandma Judy. Uh -huh. So that's been nice. Clarice is in her like all white ensemble workout gear, which is kind of ridiculous when camping, but so Clarice. <laughs> and Oliver is here just working out, trying to show off a little bit. So it's nice that they've become a little bit closer. Um, but at the same time, our focus is, of course, being good parents. So let's see, what time is it? It's 7.37 right now. How are the kids feeling? Bailey's feeling pretty good. Uh, Judy is asleep on a bench, the poor lady. Uh, let's just get her to sleep in the tent already. And Clarice, how is she? She's not too bad. So no one's really hungry, so I might take this moment to actually... Look at Bailey's parenting and see if there's anything we can hopefully uh, improve with her. That would be that would be good. What am I looking at? I was like, where is her <laughs> parenting character values? Here we go. So responsibility is doing really, really well. Uh, conflict resolution, not so good right now. Uh, emotional controls are okay. Empathies are okay. Okay, so empathy, you play with the doctor's playset to improve. Uh, an emotional control, they can do several winding down interactions on radios and instruments or jog to clear their mind uh, whenever they're kind of having a bit of an emotional breakdown. Conflict resolution, Ooh. trying to help fix bad relationships will increase conflict resolution and also teaching to say sorry. Let's see, I think we've already taught her to say sorry, haven't we? Let's see our parenting options. Oh no, we haven't, let's get her to teach her that. May as well, whilst we're away. Ah. And Judy, can we teach Elliot anything? Boom. I don't think so. Boom. I don't think we can do any parenting for him because we're not oh. his parents. Sad times. I wish we could parent other people's kids. That would be so much fun. Oh, I love Elliot. Elliot's such a cutie. And I have to say, I really love that Bailey and him have this really lovely friendship going on. And, oh, also, Sylvia got sent home in the last part. So that was pretty pretty bad pretty naughty 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 all right horseshoe Wee. <laughs> all right wait clarice you're meant to teach your daughter to say sorry come on come on you gotta be a good parent you gotta be a good parent also uh how long until bailey ages up i really want her to be a teen she's still got six days before she ages up so we've got a bit of playthrough before she becomes a rebellious teenager also, Judy is getting, she's over halfway of her lifespan, so I don't know how much longer Judy's going to be around for. I mean, she'll be around for a while longer, I guess, um, but she is an elder, so, and she has been a major part of Bailey's life, so that is definitely uh, going to be really, really sad when she Judy passes away, but um, a few of you guys have been commenting that maybe when Judy passes away, that's when Bailey can go through a rebellious stage and we can explore the parenting uh, for Bailey, like grounding her and timing her out more. Like she's been this perfect child. We haven't been able to really be strict with her or anything or haven't needed to, so that would be good. But Clarice is like, uh-uh. That is not how you say sorry. These damn flies. Oh, Clarice camping's hilarious. Oh. Was that it? Did she teach to say sorry? Teach to say sorry. The child is too bored right now. Ah, oh, she's bored. She's had so much fun though. Okay. Well, you go to the toilet, Missy, and then we might get you guys to bed and then resume in the morning. Alrighty, rise and shine. Grandma Judy is up and she's ready to cook something from the esky, I'm thinking. Or maybe she's just going to go straight ahead and grill. Sonsies. What are you making? Sonsies. That looks like fish. Quest. Also, I <laughs> I am so sorry, but I made Clarice fish in the last part. I, I'm the poor lady. She's vegetarian. She doesn't want to do that stuff. Yet we keep feeding her meat and making her fish. I was vegetarian for 13 years. I should really know, know a little bit better. Poor lady. 
All right, so what are we cooking right now? We're cooking grilled chicken. Oh, that's chicken. Okay, it would have been good if Clarice could maybe eat something, but hey, that's fine. Let's get Clarice up out of the pink tent. Oh. Uh, she can go to the toilet and we'll get her something else uh, to eat. She can just have some granola this morning. I think that would be fine. And oh, wow, that does look magnificent. It matches her jumpsuit. Oh, bless. Bless her. Okay, Bailey, what are you doing? You're going back to relax. I think it's time for a little bit of breakfast chicken. I always think it's weird how whenever you go camping, you always eat strange foods for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because obviously you don't have the luxury of having a big fridge, so you're just going to make do with what you have. And you always end up having like dinner for breakfast and breakfast for dinner. And You get me? Okay. Yum, guys. Why are they looking so miserable? What is that face for, Clarice? Why are you not happy? Oh, she's uncomfortable because she has to pee. Oh, Teach a valuable lesson. Oh, cuddle. That would be sweet. A little cuddle. Gosh, she's so pretty, Bailey, isn't she? Look at, look at her. Look at that little girl. Now, where is Oliver and Elliot? Are they... Are they in either of these? I think they've gone out to explore, maybe. Look at you. We have brought up the most perfect, pristine child. I'm telling you that now. Okay, Grandma Judy. Grandma Judy's actually taking a while on the toilet. <laughs> she's probably just reading Wilderness Digest there. Oh, she's a good one. Oh, we might get Bailey just to set the table anyway while we're here. Uh, maybe do a nice fancy setting with borders as well make sure she puts that in the bin there good girl responsibilities going up uh, we might just put these in oh why do you can't put that in the esky how are you meant to keep it nice and fresh i guess the esky ain't gonna do it uh oh i think i just lost it oh it's on the ground hey why are you always looking so tired oliver <laughs> he's always exhausted i don't think he sleeps very well out in the wilderness probably because he's wearing like a suit and has no extra clothes here oh look one lonely setting for one. Oh, actually you know what we should do we should get her to set the table <gasps> yes we should get her to set the table for her mom and oliver That's so cute. And maybe she could make something for them, like grab a drink. She could grab two juices for them and say that this is for their romantic dinner tonight when her and Judy go home. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to work on them anymore, but uh -huh. I just think it's so cute. She can at least try. She's just got to taste it before she, she puts it on the table just to make sure it's okay. There's juice for Oliver and juice for Clarice. Aw, what does that say? Gert? Kigert? Kigerte? Okay, can you bring it over to the table? Thanks, honey buns. You're a good girl. Who's a good girl? Oh my gosh, my phone just went off. Nice. What else can we do? Can we pick some flowers and put some flowers on the table? Oh, that plant's not done. Ooh, may as well dig for that whilst we're out in the wild, out in the wilderness. I think Grandma Judy, oops, no, don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. No, I don't want that. I think Grandma Judy picked almost everything. Aha, wild plant. Only Grandma Judy can really figure out what these plants are. Judy can harvest that. Oh, that's so pretty. How romantic, you guys. Then we can turn this on. No, didn't really do anything and there you go it's a beautiful meal ready for Clarice and Oliver maybe we'll get Judy to call to meal and then that means that hopefully Oliver will come over <laughs> <Kipuna. laughs> oh there he is sit down yes yes they're having a romantic moment together oh my gosh the plan worked the plan worked you guys Oh, this is adorable. Okay, let's let's chat. Let's chat. Let's chat. Uh, 
send home. Please leave. We can have a deep conversation about the children together. We can have a little bit of flirtation. And... Confess attraction. Okay, and we should get Bailey to, like, hide over here. And just listen in. Because her and Elliot's setup plan worked. Oh my gosh, what? Embarrassed? Oh my gosh. What? How? Oh. Why did he, why does he have to, like, turn us down all the time? What happened in his past relationship that makes him so afraid? Honey, please come out of the tent. Yeah, that's right. You should feel bad, Oliver. There's <sighs> no way to treat a lady who you're interested in. Huh? Eat toxic chamomile. I wonder what happens if you eat toxic chamomile. We should get Judy to do that. Oh, she's just sitting in her tent. She's so embarrassed. What happens if we just flirt a little bit? I mean, look how high their friendship is. They should be able to flirt really easily. At least I thought so. Oh, he doesn't like it at all. You know what? Fine. This is the end of us trying to make it work. We tried. It's time to go home. We'll just get Judy to eat this, because I think it'll be interesting. Oh, we can't. Oh, she knows. Oh, no, she can't eat that. She's just hiking. What did, where did she hike to? Wow, she got so far throughout those mountains. Amazing. Oh, she doesn't like him right now. Uh, let's just share some insecurities that should hopefully make you feel a little bit better. What happens when you eat this toxic chamomile? Don't worry, I know she won't die. Because, trust me, I would know if that was a death. I'll just make her feel unwell, I think. Not smart enough. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Focus on different topics or spend more time. Practice makes perfect. Affects responsibility or focus on different topics. Focus on different topics, I think. Yay! That's good because we need more conflict resolution. Okay, and crisp air from hiking. That's good. It's helped clear our mind. And what's this? From eating toxic chamomile. Apparently some kinds of chamomile aren't so calming. Oh dear. Bailey, you're just a wonder whiz child. Alright, I think it's time to go home. <clears throat> it was a good camping trip. But yes, it, it is. Alas, it is time to leave. Alright, all of us are heading back home. And yeah, we can, we can resume it back to our normal curriculum of having a curfew and doing homework and making Bailey the perfect child. It's like the perfect child challenge, the perfect parent challenge. It must be so hard to get all of those character values to like 100%. Impressive, right? Let's, uh, I think we could have a little bit of playtime with our doll bear. Where's our doll thing or our bear? Play doctor. There you go. You can have a little play. And it's Thursday. Homework's complete. Excellent. And she is an A student. She's going to be A plus soon. That's so exciting. Um, we need to up Clarice's charisma. She's a bit socially awkward. That's definitely, uh, definitely been something that we've known about her character for quite some time. So we might get her to practice a speech. Oh, she's using a pen for this one. Very unusual. Nice one, Judy. J -j Judy. <laughs> Bailey's like, um, get out of the, my bathroom. She won't go to the toilet because her mom's in there. Just go to the other one, sweetie pie. Sweetie pops. Use that other one. Also, we have to think about what we're going to do for Bailey's birthday. Do you guys have any ideas of what kind of party we should have? Bailey's going through a phase. She will pick up an instrument any chance she gets. Yell often and turn all radios up to 11. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can't you just use that toilet, though? 
childhood face is loud. This sim is letting the world hear her voice and this sim yells, makes noise on instruments and will listen to music as loud. Earplugs are advised for other family members. Well, we can buy some earplugs for her to listen to things. Uh, or let's get a radio in her room so she can really let loose with that. Uh, she can play it in her room and not affect everyone else as much. So we can go here. We'll go to electronics and grab that. Okay. Oh my god, she's got... She's such a lucky girl. She has so many things in her room. We can barely fit anything more in. Okay, can we get this in a different color? I'm not feeling that red. Ah, uh, that's okay. It'll do. All right. Let's go over here, listen to loud music. <laughs> or wind down with classical. That might help her a bit. <laughs> Emotional control's going up. Excellent, that's exactly what we wanted to do. Listening to classical music when she's into loud music is helping winding her down and learning for her to have more emotional control. Hey girl, do you wanna... What is she doing? She's going to eat some cheesy bread. Her favorite cheesy bread made by Grandma Judy. Oh, that's good. She's going to just going to sit down in there, wind down with her cheesy bread. Good stuff. Oh, we've got another picture to put there. It's really cool. Uh, also, how are you going, Judy? How's your painting? Very snazzy. She's inspired, so she's made a very oh, inspired it. painting. Then love it, love it. And she's about to skill up her level two. Judy can now collect plant samples. Oh, reached logic level two. So that's not working on her creative skill. That's working only on her logic skill. That's so bizarre, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we also need to talk to the plants. Judy thinks that speaking to plants helps them grow, which... I'm sure it does. I'm sure it makes her very happy. Sure, and you know what, Clarice? Oh, she's yeah. a hard worker, but she's also going to have Where's some time to meditate because she's a very stressed out person. So let's get her to work on her mind a little bit as well and do some meditation whilst her mum talks to the plant and Bailey continues listening to this music. Good stuff. And her fun's... What? It's almost Judy's time? Make the most of these final days? No, no, Judy. I'm gonna be so sad. Sure. Oh, I oh. thought it would almost be a time oh, when it was all the way here. Oh. Guys, that warning comes when oh. it's when yeah. when she's close. Oh. oh my god, let's just harvest all the plants. Oh my gosh, we should start we should get her to plant a special a special bush for Bailey, I think. Um, so when she passes away, Bailey can always have something. She can always join the family as a ghost as well, you guys. She doesn't have to leave us completely. Oh, I hate when the elderly sims die. Okay, she's not gone yet, though, so we need to calm down. We need to calm down. Where are my pot plants at? I never know where to find them in activities. <laughs> Miscellaneous? Ah, here we go. That's the one I was looking for. Only took me forever. Okay, so that can be the special plant for Bailey. We'll put it just here. And what plant should we have? Maybe the one that we got whilst we were away camping? Or a special strawberry bush? Uh, toxic chamomile seems a bit sad, doesn't it? A daisy bush? Do we have any daisy bushes already planted over here? Uh, yeah, we already have daisies. So I feel like we need something a little bit different. Uh, no, we don't want to check out Night Night at the bar. Okay, I think this is... The... Oh. Yeah, let's plant this. We'll just call it a chamomile tree, not a toxic one. Like, it's a nice one. <laughs> it'll remind... It'll remind Bailey of her grandma. Beautiful. Okay, can we give it a little bit of a water? And fertilize! Yes! We can fertilize it with fish. Oh my god, we have so many things. Oh, damn it, we don't have any fish in here. 
Uh, I don't know what the best thing to fertilize this with is. Let's just fertilize it with some spinach because it's rich in vitamins. There we go. I'm going to be so sad when she passes away though. Crease is just eating something. Um, let's just sell that because she definitely doesn't want that in her inventory. Oh, and we have some pictures to put on the wall. In the next part, I definitely think the family should take some pictures together. Um, because we really need, yeah, we really need to, to make sure that there's nice pictures of Grandma Judy. She's happy she's back to vegetarian food. I mean, maybe she went fishing just to impress, um, Oliver. Maybe that was why. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and Bailey's already put herself to bed. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, she's still got her music on. We'll turn that off for her so she can sleep soundly. Um, Legenzo. And we'll get Noosh. Clarice into bed as well. And Judy is still working on the garden. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you thought of this part. Let me know what you want to happen next, as always. And I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Oh.